What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. I'm actually going to devote this one to a series called Stout Saturday, guys. Yeah, we're going to start this up. I'm uh, going to do this weekly, of course. I might review more stouts in a week since it's getting colder. It's freaking freezing in Michigan right now, snowing. Uh, but we're going to try to do a big barrel-aged stout, if possible, every Saturday for you guys. So today it's going to be Delusion from Greenbush Brewery, guys, or Greenbush Brewing Co., if you will. Uh, this is 11.7% ABV uh, Imperial Cream Stout aged in maple barrel so call it what you will it's a cream stout so we got a big boy on our hands guys it's uh less than 12 percent, but still a big beer nonetheless uh, i don't know what year this is though if it's bothering me i've been looking at this bottle before i even turn the camera on i can't find a bottled on date I want to say that it's a 2020 or 2021, guys. Uh, it should not be a 22. Uh, I've had this for at least a year, year and a half. So I, I want to say that this is a 20 or a 21. I'm kind of upset because I just, I don't know. Um, you, you lost some points here, Greenbush, for not putting the, the bottle on date. I don't understand. So Michigan beer, we're diving in. I have not had this. It's been aging. Completely room temperature. Here we go. Nice pop. Nice smoke. Big time smoke coming out. Beautiful. Beautiful, love that. Go to a little pour, guys. Okay, it's definitely not jet black, not midnight oil. We got some brownish, thin kind of pour uh, coming out of this bottle, guys. It looks very Coke-like. Um, tan head that's dissipating fairly quickly. A little bit of mocha burnt char in there. Uh, but otherwise, generically tan. Um, but again, it, it wasn't a thick, crazy, dark, dark, Poor, like uh, I'm accustomed to seeing, but then again, I guess it's a cream stout. Um, not exactly what we'd call an imperial stout to other degrees. <clears throat> uh, a little bit of like muddy waters in there, a little brown mud. Um, head's hanging on though, so let's go to an aroma. Ooh. Definitely sweet, dark fruits, raisin, char barrel, a little bit of chocolate. A little bit of earthy notes, a little dash of like earthy fennel, raisins, a little bit of smoke, a little grill, a little like grill charred kind of smell. Yeah, I mean, it smells really good. It's, it's, um, it, it definitely doesn't smell like a hundred percent what Imperial Stouts smell like, like that cream kind of vanilla smoothing agents kind of in the middle. You can tell the head retention sticking on there. It's kind of creamy. There's definitely like notes of vanilla and like whipped cream in here, guys. So let's dive in. It is delusion. Don't know the year. Cheers. Okay. Some nice barrel on the back end. There's definitely like a smooth softness to this like whiskey barrel. I would say there's a little bit of like um, sweetness. It's like a honey syrupy kind of vibe. So obviously we have those uh, maple barrels kind of showing themselves a little bit. It's a nice little like uh, sweetness that kind of um, puts some uh, softness on that whiskey barrel, if you will. And I actually don't know what kind of barrel this is. Um, Imperial cream stout and maple barrels. I guess it's not specifying. There's a little bit of um, earthy kind of peppercorn vibe. I don't know if it's like rye barrel. I could see that. Uh, let me focus that up real quick. Sorry, guys. Um, but I don't know. So there's got this like soft peppercorn kind of vibe, but we got this like vanilla creamy syrup uh, on the back end that kind of adds to the earthiness on the back end. Uh, but it's soft. It's kind of creamy and, and uh, delicate. So one more. Let's go for another one. Milk chocolate raisins, Italian roast coffee, milk chocolate, baker's chocolate, uh, a little bit of like robust malts in here, like um, porter vibes. But again, that vanilla kind of uh, syrup sweetness, it starts in the front and you get it all the way to the back end, but you get like charred burnt coffee on the back end, like that earthy, bitter, slight fennel coffee on the back end is how this beer kind of sums itself up, guys. It's it's good. It's like super smooth. I will say that being a cream style, I can tell it's got a nice, delicate, creamy mouthfeel throughout. 
Uh, I don't like my lighting. Man, sorry guys. Got bad lighting apparently going on and I've been having issues with my camera. Sorry in advance, um, but you can listen to my voice. Maybe I should do podcasts, uh, only audios. <laughs> uh, so this is very good. I will say this is aged very well. The, the whiskey or whatever barrel this is in, it could be rye, I don't know, uh, has a softness to it. Maybe it was more abrasive when it first uh, came out of the bottle, but this is definitely showing some age. It's settled down. It's not that hot. It's very drinkable at complete room temperature, guys. It's, it's quite delicious. A hair thin, it's not very thick or chewy, um, but sometimes I like that for drinkability, but it's not a blow your mouth out stout, you know, that big, thick, darkness, 15%, no. Uh, drinking a lot closer to that 11% than the 12. Um, just very nice barrel, smoke, char, uh, woody kind of syrup on the back end. I just dig it, man, it's good. More soft. Coffee, roast, chocolate, milk chocolate. And again, there's like this bitter earthiness on the back end. Certainly, maybe the barrel flexing a little bit. I don't know. Um, maybe it's like bitter burnt coffee too. It's just, it's hard to say. Like this peppercorn thing keeps jumping out at me. I want to say this is a rye barrel because of this like soft spicy note on the back end. I bet you this was a lot harder and more harsh on the palate when this was fresh. So um, I'm gonna say that this is at least aged uh, from 2020 or 21, and that makes sense. It's 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 done nice in the bottle, guys. It's it's aged very well. So uh, solid beer. Let's rate it. 4.25 out of five. I like it. I've had more complex beers, but this one's nice. Uh, it's Michigan, guys. It's got some good quality in here. Uh, I dig it. 4.25 out of five. It's been a delusion. Uh, we don't know what year. From Greenbush, guys, thanks for being here. I'm Dan. I'm over and out. See you on the next review. Cheers.